Greetings gamers, my name is Johnny Retro and welcome back to another episode of Retro Raider. And I know, it has been a while, it has been a while since I've uploaded a video, it has been a while since my last pickups video, but boy do I have a treat for you guys today if you enjoy pickups videos. Without question, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, <laughs> deal uh, slash find that I've done uh, since I started my YouTube channel. I'm not even going to throw a lot of gameplay footage guys because yeah, we do have a lot of stuff to showcase here. Uh, we have some retro PC stuff, uh, vintage PC stuff right there. Uh, we have a lot of Nintendo goodies here. Uh, and make sure that you stay until the end of the video because I have a holy grail here. That is right. An NES collectible holy grail. Before I start the video, I just want to say that no, I'm not going to keep all of this stuff for myself, but I, I really couldn't, you know, turn on this deal. I got this deal from a friend of a friend. <laughs> uh, he was actually, uh, he actually came from, from France, and all of these items are PAL from the French region, or from France, from the PAL region, that is the right way to say it. And I mean, this is how it is. If you're a collector, especially these days, we all know that, you know, retro gaming is, is, way off the roof these days. It's an expensive hobby, it is what it is. But if we manage to strike good deals, and this is the solid proof that good deals can still be made uh, in 2022, and I bought everything locally here in Portugal, this is a good opportunity for you, uh, you know, to use these, you know, use the items that you already have or the items that you don't care as much for, you know, use these as trades, trade with friends, and uh, it also gives you the opportunity, you know, to to make a buck for your collection and it also gives an opportunity for a fellow collector to get these items for you uh, from you uh, for a decent price so no ebay here these didn't come from ebay or from fleet markets or anything like that this was you know a friend of a friend and allow me to give you guys this tip this is one of the most important tips if you're starting out or if, if you want to to get into retro gaming collection just talk to friends let's your close friends know that you're looking for this stuff because you know a, a lot of people are out there they they don't care for this right and they had it when they were kids and they probably just want to get rid of them and make sure that the deal is good for both parts because for me that's what a good deal is a good deal for the person who is selling it and for the person who is buying it now without further ado let's check out my latest pickups right after this Okay, so first things first, I got not only one, but two MSX computers. That is right, the Philips MSX, this one is the VG8020, and uh, this one is the same, although the shell is different. Let me honestly tell you guys, I am not the biggest expert when it comes to microcomputers, but I mean, the MSX was a really big deal back in the late 80s up to the early 90s i believe these were the pal french releases of these items as a matter of fact all the items that i'm going to show you guys today uh, originally came from france and one of these bad boys this one actually came on its original box aside from that still on the hardware uh, we also got the python uh, one joystick uh, i do remember seeing these around this is the turbo 3 uh, although you know a lot of these joysticks they kind of did the same thing and they were compatible uh, with a bunch of different systems both consoles and computers like you know the sega atari commodore amstrad uh, msx of course etc still on the original box and i also got this really cool Cool magazine right here this uh, Philips magazine again from France bear with me guys because space management is going to be a struggle <laughs> for this video but uh, let's move on to the MSX games okay MSX games all of them are completed uh, in box and these are cartridge based games that's right uh, let's start with the first one we got the classic Galaga for the MSX then we got Mappy right here and a cool thing is that uh, these kind of remind me the um, 
you know the Philips video pack console because these uh, cartridges uh, uh, boxes are numbered and if you guys want to take a closer look at the cartridges uh, here they are they kind of look like uh, you know a mix between a Famicom slash Master System uh, cartridge and on a computer I forgot to show you uh, we have two different uh, cartridge slots right here and still on the cartridge guys I could be wrong uh, so please let me know down below but I've read online that these cartridges uh, or actually these games that somebody got you know an everdrive for the master system and they put you know a bunch of msx roms uh, on there and it worked uh, i don't own a uh, an ever uh, an everdrive for the master system but guys if you know anything about that please let me know down below because these games or some of these games are really really awesome next we got Eggerland Mystery right here. I'm really really digging the artwork and you know the, the the fashionable style of these boxes and these cartridges really cool stuff uh, Then we have a uh, roll, roll Roller ball right here. Sorry for my tongue. This one has a different design uh, We have the manual there and here we have the cartridge next we have penguin adventure last but not least this is kind of a, a big box <laughs> one uh, we have kings valley uh, this one i've heard about the tray just slides right there and we have the cart again yeah the boxes kind of remind me a little bit you know uh, these ones from the zx spectrum uh, that is the fun part about collecting uh, for you know old school computers it doesn't matter if you like to collect you know big box PC games or you know cassette tapes for the ZX Spectrum or cartridges for the MSX like I previously said I'm not going to keep all of these items but uh, you know I again I, I couldn't skip uh, this deal uh, I know that a couple of these games are actually a little bit hard to get I know for a fact that these two in particular these are kind of rare games but it, it's that thing I, I like to collect retro video games, I like to preserve retro video games, but, you know, if they don't mean anything to me in the sense or, you know, nostalgia or if they're not within the genre that I really appreciate, I really prefer to use these as, you know, as, you know, for sale or, or for trades. It's part of collecting, it is what it is. But on that note, speaking about stuff that I like to collect for, I got some really interesting stuff for the NES. Okay, let's start with some boxed games that is right boxed NES games which is becoming you know quite difficult to acquire these days not all of them are complete not all of them are in a good shape when it comes to the boxes but the cartridges are impeccable a classic here Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or should I say Hero Turtles that's right this is the PAL version a classic right here we have Mega Man unfortunately this one doesn't bring doesn't came with the uh, the manual but I mean it's Mega Man Mega Man that is right a classic Nintendo game classic staple NES games and correct me if I'm wrong guys but I think that you know NES collecting is slowly down uh, these days uh, what I mean by that is that the prices in some of these games aren't aren't changing at all which I think it is natural in the sense that you know a lot of people know those that wanted back in the day a full NES set or they wanted to recover uh, their you know NES games from from back when they were kids I think that those people already have them and this new generation I'm not saying that you know that people that collect for the NES are people that grew with the NES I mean I didn't grow up with the NES and I have you know a, a fairly uh, interesting NES collection but what I'm trying to say is that a lot of the younger generations that are starting to get into retro gaming uh, I don't think that they are looking for these type of items uh, as much as we did when we start collecting but still it's Mega Man next we have Mac Rider right here again the French version uh, I'm going to butcher this because uh, you know uh, my French is terrible but je de <laughs> yeah it's Mac Rider for the NES this one yeah got the manual another classic right here we have Red Racer unfortunately this one is complete but it didn't brought the uh, the glasses the 3d glasses it is what it is but a uh, fun fact this one still has the price tag uh, in uh, Frank in the French Frank classic action RPG ish game right here we have Rygar uh, this one is complete also I believe that we do have the manual for Rygar again the cartridges they're all pretty much mint uh, the guy that I bought this uh, really 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 took care of their games uh, actually we have both manuals speaking about action RPG I already have this one on the collection Fexanadu now let me tell you guys 
if you never played Fax Sanadu, please do yourselves a favor because this game, I still think that this game is a hidden gem on the NES library. And it's kind of dark. It's kind of a dark game. Uh, again, you know, looking back, if we're talking about, you know, late 80s, early 90s, this is, this was some, you know, some really obscure dark stuff. Speaking about the classics, this is probably one of the most classic games ever. One of the most classic Nintendo games ever, Super Mario Bros. 3. And I'm very happy for this particular copy because it is completed. I want to show you guys the inserts. We have the manual right here, we have the sleeve, I have to trade this for a Nintendo <laughs> sleeve, and we have the cartridge right here. Yeah, for a lot of people, this is the best uh, Super Mario game ever made. Me, you know, for nostalgic reasons, I still prefer Mario 64, and on the NES, I mean, I love this game, but I don't know, the classic Super Mario, the Super Mario Bros. one, um, I don't know, I think that it is my favorite, it is my favorite Mario on the NES, but I mean, it's Super Mario 3. A little game called Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to talk much more about Zelda. What can we say about Zelda? Unfortunately, this one, the box, is not on a really uh, good shape. It's actually on a very bad shape. We have the sleeve and the cartridge uh, is impeccable and the saves do work. Now, the manual is kind of rough. It was used. This one, this game was definitely used, but I mean, the cartridge, I believe that it is uh, what uh, it matters. I mean, Legend of Zelda, the classic Legend of Zelda, I've said this a million times on my channel. Play this game. You know, for the younger generations in the crowd, if you never played The Legend of Zelda, please play this game. It's not because it is iconic, it's not just because it is a staple, it's because, you know, this game was groundbreaking. This game was the ground zero for a lot of, of what it came after it. You know, if you like action games, if you like adventure, if you like um, fantasy, if you like RPGs, even though, you know, it's arguably arguably uh, if this game is or not an RPG, but I mean, it's a game that, in which, in my opinion, every, every gamer uh, should give it a try. We have RC Pro-Am right here. Uh, I actually own a loose copy of this one. And last but not least, we have Golf. Still, we got some extras. We got three extra uh, cartridges. Uh, we have Track and Field 2 right here, uh, Top Gun, and last but not least, and I was looking forward to get this one, we have Life Force Salamander, and we also have its manual right here. Now, I believe that this game is a sequel or a spiritual successor to Gradius, and it's one of those things. I suck at shooters, I just do, <laughs> but I really enjoy playing them. So without question, I'm very happy to add this to my NES library. Now, we have to make some room for this one because, again, this is a, this is a kicker. Probably one of the most sought after uh, NES collectibles right here. And let me just grab it. This is a big guy. And yeah, it is the PAL Deluxe Set uh, with a rob. I really hope that you guys can see everything. I'm not going to open this one right now. Uh, I'll throw, you know, some, uh, some footage on it. Yeah, the French version and, if you allow me to say it, kind of the creme of la creme <laughs> of a lot of NES collections out there. Let me show you guys a little bit of the back. Uh, I mean, the box has uh, some usage, yes, acceptable shape, if I may say so, but the items inside, the actual items, are pretty much brand new. We got the zapper, of course, the great zapper, we have uh, Duck Hunt, we have Jeremiah, of course, and I want to say something about Rob, because I I I've seen, you know, uh, Rob's before for the NES, but this was actually the first time that I actually tried, you know, with patiently with time. And how can I say this? Uh, it works better than what I was expecting. I was expecting me to be, you know, very clunky and not working properly. But let me say that it, it really surprised me. However, is it fun? Well, for the first five minutes. <laughs> I think it's kind of a gimmick because it, then it, it becomes, you know, really, really boring in my opinion. And Brawl, I mean, this dude makes a hell of a noise. I don't know, let me know down below if back in the day if you grew up with Rob, but I don't know how you could play this, you know, at night, for example, with, with everybody sleeping at, at your place. Still, what can I say? It is the deluxe set for the NES. Now, 
I'm not going to keep this one for myself. Uh, I'm still looking for a, a Rob the Robot, but I would really like to have the Famicom version of Rob. This one I made a deal with a very good friend, and I think that if you guys follow my channel, you already know what I'm talking about, especially if you're from Portugal. Uh, yeah, Gilles Retro Stew. But I leave that to Gilles, and by the way, follow him. Link down below of the Retro Stew channel. I think that Jill will make, you know, a really interesting video on this one. I thought that was pretty much it, but no, we still have a NES Advantage right here. Uh, this one, it, it is working, I already tested it out, but it needs some cleaning. But as a bonus, it came with its manual and uh, it is sealed. Guys, this concludes the video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed my pickups video. Uh, yeah, it was a fun one. I think it was one of the best pickups that I ever did uh, since I started the channel. And let me know down below if you guys grew up with any of these items right here. Let me know if you own an MSX. Uh, let me know if you own Rob for the NES. And one last note, guys, I know that I haven't been uploading a lot here on the channel. Uh, the reason for that is because, you know, first of all, due to the lack of time, my professional life is uh, uh, is very stable, it is working right now, and I mean, it, it's a matter of priorities. Regarding the channel and my gaming content, uh, I'm still going to keep up with the channel. The channel, it is not going anywhere. Uh, but, you know, these type of videos that take, you know, a little bit longer to, to produce, to make, um, I, I'm, I'm not going to upload as much as these as I used to. Uh, but about my music, I'm start I started to get into video game music and I already posted a couple of songs here on the channel and I'm working on some brand new ones, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys want to see some uh, more backstage stuff, uh, other types of content, feel free to follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm also on TikTok now, that is right. I'm not dancing, I'm not doing you no know, lip syncs or anything like that, but I'm posting some ext extra uh, gaming content there and also some... Uh, uh, some music. Guys, I want to thank you all for your amazing support. Thank you for being with me. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, uh, commenting, uh, leaving likes, subscribing. That really, really uh, means the world to me. On that note, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community, and game a lot.